Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Generative Geek. I am continuing with my make.com series and today what I want to basically quickly walk you through is how do you import blueprints. Now blueprint is everything that you see here like you know is a scenario but the meta information of it like you know if I go to the HTTP module here it says hey there is a call that has to be made to replicate and all of that uh, and then there's this anthropic, there is like, you know, we are calling a certain model, we are, we are asking it, we are giving it a prompt and all of that. Now, all of this, when you combine, it's called a blueprint. Now, you know, how do you actually, so one way is, I do a complete video or you watch a video somewhere and then you do step by step these builds, right? You know, so you first put the webhook, then you put the air table, all of that, you do step by step. The other way is where you can just import the blueprint and this thing will automatically come to life for you you don't have to follow any steps nothing right so the way we are going to do it is first is whoever is your blueprint provider what they can do is they can export the blueprint and the way to do it is you press on these three buttons three dots which is basically about more you click on them and you say export blueprint now this will export a json right you know so it's called blueprint 4.json because i have so many of these blueprints so it's it says blueprint 4 but if you open it in text edit <coughs> I'm sorry. If you open it in text edit, you can see it's all JSON here. So it's all JSON, right? You know, you can see um, various meta information which make.com understands. Now, let's just say you, you have this and I'm providing my blueprint as well. So you can click on that blueprint. Now, let's say this is a different account, right? You know, so I'll go to scenarios. I'll say save changes. Um, come to this and you go to scenarios create a new scenario now i'm i'm trying to import the blueprint right you know so you have a json from somewhere now you know it, it's immaterial how you got that json one way is i'll come in here start building using these modules each thing one by one block by block the other is where i can just say hey click on these three uh, dots the more button more icon and you know say import blueprint and then select the blueprint that you want to import so i'll go to my downloads blueprint 4 save now the moment i do that see guys all of it came back right you know so so that entire blueprint is now active what you will have to do and what we'll also have to do if i now go here it says the webhook is it it doesn't have a webhook so webhook like things you will have to create a webhook um if there is a, a restriction you want to put that Otherwise, just say save and they create a webhook, right? Next, you go to Airtable, you will have to do these things. You will have to create these um, records and IDs and all of that. So, while the blueprint will come in, the connections don't come in by themselves. That's a very important pitfall to remember, right? So, you will have to go in here, select the right base, the base that basically makes sense for you for this, this, uh, this scenario. And then, step by step for each of them, you should go out again for the moment you create a connection you will see that the prompt and everything will come up so let's just say i go to console.anthropic and i um, get the key continue with google and i say so the moment i put my key right now this you don't see the prompt and all of that but the moment i put my key all of those things will start coming in so uh, it's still going on okay now yeah so logging into anthropic i just need a key i don't remember the key obviously um, and i'll come here get api keys create a new key uh, make temp key um, and select add it will give us a key which i'll just copy come back here and say save right so the moment i do that it's it's going to use that key create a connection and look at it the model the prompt everything came so it's it's part of the blueprint it's just that it doesn't show up till you have a connection so so you will have to make a connection the tools will usually come up uh, HTTP things will also be there uh, but you will have to do everything else uh, like you know the connections wherever the connection is required you will have to select the connection and rest of the things will all come up but you will have to ensure that you know the generated post all of these things are part of this base and this base exists that's very very important so this was a quick video I wanted to make today uh, to walk you through how to import the blueprint, how to export the blueprints. I hope you learned something new. Make.com is a phenomenal platform. I'm really enjoying it and expect more videos from me in the coming days on Make.com. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.